Tonight's live stream telecast is being produced by Johnny Nomad Media and Daytona Beach Live Stream Solutions. Up next on the Elevate stage, give it up for Dr. Barry Tischler. Thank you. Great job, Christina. Wow, some amazing, brave speakers here tonight, huh? Tonight, I would like to talk for Bobby and the 96,000 people that we lost last year alone to opioid epidemic and their families. Elevate is a platform that uh, demonstrates an innovative way to solve a problem, to show how something isn't what it seems, or to challenge a preconceived notion. As an educator, I was up for that challenge, to build such a platform. I originally created a very extensive talk bloated with way too much information and impressive stats that I really didn't have time for. It was a good talk, but what I saw on the stage and what Elevate is really all about is people sharing their hearts and truths. So I'm here to tell their story through my truth, as seen on the screen are the transformations of addiction to recovery. You see, I'm very passionate about the mission that I'm on and the people that I'm trying to help, and I'm here to ask you to join me in that purpose, to hire people in recovery and to create a recovery-friendly workplace. Working on the front lines of addiction, I see the pain and suffering, worsened by the opioid epidemic, accelerated by the COVID pandemic, and I'm sure everybody here sees it too and probably knows somebody that's been affected by drugs, alcohol, OD, or even death. But what you may not see are these transformations. People do recover and they fight hard to get to and stay in a place of wellness. Over 25 million Americans have recovered from a seemingly hopeless state of mind and body. Through action and faith, they are no longer using or abusing drugs and alcohol, they are sober. People in society still look at addiction as a lack of willpower, a moral weakness, or a bad character, not as a chronic, treatable, deadly illness. An addiction-related stigma is a chronic, chronic shame-based mark of disgrace, and people in recovery are ostracized and discriminated against every day. Nobody ever wanted to be an addict or an alcoholic, and it's time to stop looking at them as throwaway hopeless people they are not. And this is where you come in. If we are to have any effect on addiction or recovery, the opioid epidemic that rages on, then we need to take action now by supporting their journey and chance at a better life. And I know something about this myself, you see. Even after growing up in an upper middle class home where I was afforded every opportunity, by age 16, I dropped out of high school and my addiction took control. Over the next 10 years, my life would be marked by a series of sobriety and relapse, success and failures, achievements and consequences. I would go on to get sober and um, participate in one of the very first drug court programs. And in 2000, I earned my MBA, I'm sorry, I earned my bachelor's degree and certified as an addiction professional. My career then progressed and into executive management positions, transitioned and progressed into executive management positions. And since that time, and during the course of the last 10 years, I was able to earn an MBA and a doctorate degree and further certification as a peer recovery counselor. I then took my education and experience and formed the Addiction Education Foundation, where one of our goals is to transform organizations into recovery-friendly workplaces. Work gave recovery Work gave my recovery purpose. Work provided me with the ability to take care of my family, to put food on my table, to further my education, to take vacations, to find love and marriage and a life beyond addiction and suffering, and one that I'm truly grateful for. But my story is not unique. There are so many people living in recovery who are work ready, honest, genuine, smart, totally awesome people, just ready to make your company grow and make you proud and grateful that you gave them the chance that they deserved. With jobs in high demand, it's time to look to this passed over, diverse pool of qualified, skillful people living in recovery. Recovery is good for business. And productivity increases, why um, healthcare costs decrease. Workplace turnover and employee incidents are reduced. Absenteeism decreases dramatically. And employment's great for recovery. Paying bills on time double, there's more time for family and friends, and costly emergency room visits decrease tenfold, and much, much more. But more importantly, you're investing in human capital. That has the ripple effect through the culture of your organization into families and the community. It's difficult to live in recovery if you have no meaning and no purpose, no safe place to live if you're isolated and alone. Work is purpose. Grateful for their job, people in recovery demonstrate commitment and loyalty. And having a healthy employee is the key to the health and wellness of your organization. The dividends and payoff are massive for you, for your company, for the people whose lives you help to recreate, for their families and our community. So no one should be judged by their worst day, a past mistake, or their mugshot. 
higher recovery, create a recovery-friendly workplace, and let the Addiction Education Foundation show you how. Thanks.